there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 30th. Uh, so this week, uh, very similar, I think, to last week or the week before. I uh, don't really remember which week it was, but looks like a transformative week. A lot of, um, you know, needing to let go of something, which I think, again, I think that came up last week, if I'm not mistaken, about needing to let something go. That will probably help you. Maybe a project or, uh, you know, something you've been hoping would work out or something. Could even be a relationship you were hoping would work out, but maybe you just need to let it go. But let's get into this and see. Uh, first, you have the Queen of Hearts. Uh, Queen of Hearts, it's funny because the Queen of Hearts represents a uh, a water sign normally. But I always have associated the Queen of Hearts with Taurus. Um, so, you know, in a lot of ways, this does represent you. Uh, having said that, this is a card that represents your mother as well. So if you hear anything from your mother or you somebody comes to you who gives you advice that your mother would have given you, uh, could even be a male, uh, then it might be advice you'd want to listen to. Again, this can represent a message coming from your mother, so you, you definitely would want to listen to it. It is a good love card as well, uh, and it can indicate things like marriage and things like that coming to you. So if you're looking for that, uh, that could definitely happen. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds, which is the card of the entrepreneur. So a lot of you could be on this like entrepreneurial path looking for uh, businesses or also just a job path in general. Uh, this is a good money card. It represents money increasing, and it does represent success like coming in. Uh, the, the thing with this card is it's not here yet. It's it's like on its way. That's what the card represents. It's, you know, it, it's kind of, there's some more things that need to be done, but it is coming. So a lot of you could be working towards something. And now that I say that, that's making a lot more sense based off of everything else that's laying down here. So I would say if you're working towards anything, not even money, uh, I think this card is just representing, in this reading, I think it's just representing work in general. Anything you're working towards could be a relationship, like I said, uh, spirituality, whatever. Um, whatever it is, just keep going. This is a card of being perseverant in a lot of ways. So uh, keep working towards whatever it is. Because this card, like again, it does say that the success is coming. The success is there. Uh, but you just have to keep going, basically, with this card. It's also a good card to look at your finances. So just a side note, you might want to look at your finances, especially now, you know, during all these retrogrades, you never know You never know what you might find. So, you know, it might be a good week to maybe go over your credit card statement or something like that. You might find something like a discrepancy or something like that uh, that isn't supposed to be there. So definitely look things over with this card. Next, you have the Ten of Spades. So again, needing to let something go. You have uh, uh, four needing to let something go cards in a row after, right here. So definitely needing to move past something, something that no longer serves you, that's not making you money, or uh, you know maybe a relationship that's not working, maybe a spiritual belief that's not working. Like I said, it could be anything. Uh, this card does represent having a hard time letting something go. I mean, that's what the card represents, but it does represent needing to let something go. It is also a card of worrying, so definitely stop stop worrying under this card but uh, this card does represent change in a lot of ways um, and the thing is, is you have the ace of spades coming up next which is forced change so you know again if, if a lot of you I, I would say most of you would know exactly what I'm talking about you know exactly what you need to let go of so definitely do it uh, or else you know it will be forced from you basically um, th this is also a good card though it's not all bad and it's not all forced change it does represent change and it's always changed for the better uh, you know things increasing things getting better it's a transformation card it does represent problems being solved moving past problems uh, it does represent new beginnings and uh, all these other great things so it's a great rebirth card same with that ten of spades ten of spades is very much like a you know death type card so it can definitely represent uh, rebirth Next, you have the four of spades. Uh, definitely something I think Taurus has been. This is a long term Taurus thing, and it's the search for comfort. Four of spades represents looking for comfort, wanting to be more comfortable, wanting to develop more comfort um, in, in all ways. So, again, that might mean a relationship for some of you. That might mean health. A lot of you could be going through health changes or trying to become more comfortable health wise. Uh, it could represent. Um, you know, money as well, like I said, and all those, all sorts of things. So a lot of you could be looking at those things. The good news about the Four Spades is it's also a card of recovery. So it does represent, you know, things recovering, things changing, things getting better. So it's a really good card for, you know, bet, better changes. Next, you have the Two of Spades. So again, needing to let go of something, 
looking to let go of something. Uh, also, difficulties with friends. I think this has been a very long-term thing for Taurus as well, having difficulties with friends, maybe losing friends. It's a very Taurus thing to go through. Pretty much every single Taurus in their life at some point will um, go through friend cycles where they're like losing friends, gaining friends, all you know, back and forth, uh, picking the wrong friends, things like that. So a lot of you could be going through that right now. Um, this is a card of needing to learn to be more diplomatic, needing to see both sides, and, and needing to create more harmony. It's also a card, like I said, of friends, of just saying, uh, you know, maybe it, maybe you're looking at yourself and you find that you have a pattern of, of, of losing friends. Again, most, it's, it's nothing, you know, I don't want, I'm not being critical of you Torians here, but it's definitely a thing where maybe uh, Taurus has a pattern of losing friends in the same type of way. And this card could just be you looking at that and being like, oh man, you know, I always lose a friend by doing this or, or something or I always pick the same type of person and it always leads to me losing a friend because of this and so a lot of you could just be looking at that and changing that and, and looking at the truth of, of those things so it's a, it's a positive thing and at the end here you have a really positive card the eight of hearts very good card of the home feeling good in the home um, represents new relationships for those of you that of you that are single and it can also represent good news. You have the Queen of Hearts as well. So definitely keep your ears open to any messages that come to you. And this is even friends, again, with uh, friendships getting better and uh, seeing better friends. But this is also a good card of new beginnings as well. So thank you for watching. Looks like a great week. Uh, and enjoy it.